Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're here. It's time for another NASCAR diecast review. And I'm very, very excited about this one. So let's jump right into it. It's in this box. Oh boy. This is... This is a special one. So it's right in here. This, this is our box. It is... The Martin Truex New Hampshire race win from 2023. So, let's look at that. Now, before we fully dive into the car, we do have within the box the information. Not that, that's build your own garage. That's the win sticker. Of course, every race win for all the series, you do get a win sticker. So that's pretty cool. Of course, it has the 75th anniversary logo in the middle of it. That's quite exciting. So. There you go. Information, Martin Trace Jr. Cran 301 winner, July 16th, 2023. Actually, it was the 17th, but... But look at that. We even got the pin from the race. Because, of course, for those of you who don't know, I went to this race. That's why I got the die cast. Um, it was the first NASCAR race I went to in 10 years. And, um, yeah, it's quite cool. I thought it was always interesting that people bought the die cast from the race they went to. So, I was like, I'm going to do that. So, there it is. The race is actually July 17th. But they put the actual date it was supposed to be. Got rained out, moved to the next day. Um, on the back here, three hours, and eight minutes, and seven seconds. He started in second place. Um, eight cautions for 41 laps. Didn't realize there was that many, but I guess towards the end you had a, there was a few cautions. Um, and he led 254 of the 301 laps. He absolutely dominated that race. I've seen a stat somewhere that that was like, uh, one of the most dominant wins of the season, or the most dominant race win. He absolutely killed it. Uh, he really wanted that New Hampshire win. I believe he had the most laps led of anybody that hadn't won at New Hampshire, so uh, he wanted to go out there and, and get that W. So, again, this is the track that I've, the only NASCAR track I've been to, see a cup race. I have seen four cup races in person. Um, but I never got the die cast from it. Because to be honest, I don't even think they made the die cast from some of those um, race wins. Let me know if they have made the die cast from uh, Joe Logano winning in 2009, Greg Buffel winning in 2008, and uh, Brian Vickers winning in 2013. Let me know if there's race wins of those around, if anybody's seen them or if they know they exist or not. But um, I'll be on the lookout for those if they are. But. Martin Truex race wins, so a lot of confetti on it. Very, very cool. Um, this is the second car that I have this like really covered in confetti. I have a few that have a decent amount. There's a Kevin Harvick one that has a few pieces on it. There's Kevin Harvick one from Texas, which has a few, uh, but nothing quite like this one or the Kyle Larson one from with Wilkesboro that I uh, got a few weeks ago. Um, what else is there that's cool, notable about it? I mean, I like the colors of the confetti. It's a little bit different. Yellow and blue compared to your more, um, red and white that you see. Got a little bit of damage there from the burnout. It is actually missing a whole tire, uh, from the burnout. So it's kind of interesting that they went with no tire at all. And the set has a very, very torn up tire. And of course you can see the marks on that from the burnouts and all that. So it's just super, super cool. A um, little bit of scrape on the side of it here. Yeah, overall, awesome though. Again, the roof flaps open. One thing I think is cool to note with the race wins, you can see where whoever wins the race adds the winner sticker. So there's four on this side, but there's only three. 
on this side of the car because of course the winner only adds one side uh, that that day this one is number 491 421 what does it say oh my god I can't see it <laughs> pretty sure it's 431 okay but yeah overall just so so cool and again to have it from the actual race that I went to um is awesome they didn't make the uh 164 and my mom wanted that one but at least we have the 124 so I'm interested to take out the base and see how this fits into the stand without having a wheel I'm assuming by the fact that it has a diffuser it will be able to kind of balance at least semi decently on that but I decided to open it up and uh throw it in the shelf so that is that the win uh, martin truex race win from new hampshire in 2023 what a car um yeah so we'll see um see what happens this summer at new hampshire maybe there'll be another race diecast review in a year from now whoever wins in that so or it'll be a little bit earlier because that race supposed to be in june instead of july it's about a month ahead so Early February next year. Be here. <laughs> uh, by the way, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.